you're watching Jack's Drones. Hi, my name is Jack Hodgins. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a product review. This is the Walkman FPV Racer 2250 from Helipal, and it's just arrived today. It's a bit chilly on the fingers, very cold. So, do a quick review. So, just an unboxing, and then we're going to do another video where we'll get right into it basically. So, I when I ordered this, I bought some spare batteries, always to get good. So, I've got four, should have four batteries, three I bought extra one that comes with it as well so we can get some good flight time they're roughly about five minutes per battery so it could, should give me plenty of practice playing with this as well now what's different between this and another one i brought this is a gps version so it should be easy to fly so let's have a look so this is the case it came with so it's a free case at the moment it's half price as well it's a good deal so you've got front um here for putting props and stuff in, spare props or, or, or manuals. You've got side pockets here to carry spare batteries if you wanted, or, or parts or tools. Uh, and on the back, you've obviously got the normal um, back bits. There's no sort of cushiony bits for your back, but there is sort of like um, uh, um, sort of holy sort of message mesh. Hopefully it keeps your back from being sweaty. Hopefully it won't be on your back for too long because it's uh, all about racing. So very quick overview, so it's, it is a cheap, um, backpack but it comes free so you can't expect a lot from that they do nicer cases which are a bit more expensive because the um, postage can be the same price as the case because the ones they've got are quite no robust so maybe the next time i'll do a big order i order one to cover this as well and upgrade to it or if anybody out there is doing flight cases if you want me to review a flight case that fits this product please send me an email and i'm happy to review it for you as long as i keep the, the the rucksack so here we go look inside we have now this is the inside we have, so we've got everything packed in here, we've got the FPV racer, we've got charger um, here, we've got the GPS module, we've got some leads, we've got some props, comes with two sets of props, so just in case you don't order yourself some more, but I actually was a bit organised, I ordered myself lots of spare props, just in case. Um, unfortunately these don't come as great big packs of um, props, you have to buy them separately, they're three, roughly three pound each, you only get like one pair in there, not 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 the whole four pairs. Um, so I had to buy it. So that was a little bit expensive on that, but I've brought enough to. So I've got a few sets: one, two, three, four. So there's five five sets of props in there. So that should last me a bit anyway. So there we go. And also another thing I noticed on here when I brought this, there was no custom charges. So I didn't actually pay any VAT on 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 this at all. So I don't know if that was included. I'll have a look at my invoice to see if VAT was charged or not. Normally they don't charge it. Normally it comes with a custom uh, excise invoice that you pay before they deliver, basically. But I had nothing from that. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, didn't pay a lot. So fantastic deal. So inside we've got um, nice cables here to keep everything in place. So pull them apart. Nicely packed for a free case. Not bad, not bad. Uh, instruction manuals comes with a CD, which is all about the uh, Devo um, 7 a remote, it's always good to read that up and learn more about your remote controller itself. And um, we've also got the, the manual. These manuals are always really nice, they're proper actually uh, coloured manuals, um, really nicely done, showing everything on here. So again guys, remember to read your manuals. Okay, then you've got a, bit, then you've got a small little manual on here about your Devo controller. Warranty registration card, it's normal uh, from these guys. And what's the other one? Uh, notification, not authorised. Yeah, so just a, a little warning letter thing. They always pop, pop. putting cases and stuff. So we've got that. So read your manual. So let's have a look. We've got a Devo remote controller packed in here. And there we have it. It's a nice remote controller. They tend to use these. They're common for all their products. And um, they use on all their FPV races. So, and they're nice, and they're quite nice in the hand as well. This one's, I didn't get this with a LiPo battery. It comes with a normal standard AA um, cover here, um, but you can upgrade that and actually have a LiPo battery put it in, it, in, in it, into it. But here's an example of my other one I bought a little while back. That comes with the LiPo battery, as you can see there, um, inside. So, and that, that's, then you can just have that. that. LiPo battery seems to, seems to last a lot longer than the, the actual AA batteries, because here you have to fit in four AA batteries. But you can go through, quite, go through them quite quickly. It's always worth upgrading to the LiPo battery. Then everything's on, charges on the same charger then. So that's the DO controller. Go back in there. And then we've got the GPS module here. So and that's, that's the fit on the thing. 
because I brought the GPS because I thought manual flying is difficult. It, um, you've got to have a lot of practice and you've got to get out there and play loads and loads and loads. I don't always have the time to do that. So that's why I brought this one. It's a GPS version. So in theory, it'll take away a lot of the flying skills that I don't have to learn. So hovering, keeping it maintained altitude, don't have to worry about it so much. So I can get really get on, get my goggles out, put them on, and proper FPV racing and having a go. Um, so I'm speeding the process up a little bit. Yes, if you want to comment, I am lazy. You know, we're not all experts at the end of the day, but it's a way of learning, and I can slowly keep going back towards my other one, which is a manual um, FPV racer, and slowly pick those skills up. You know, for those people out there that's sort of more of an expert on this. But um, these product reviews are more for people that want to buy this product rather than actually experts at flying. I mean, everyone can buy one of these if they've got the money to do it and crash it. It's up to you, it's your hobby, you know, at the end of the day. But there's a lot of people that criticise about that anyway. It comes with one battery, so it does come with a battery on, uh, with it, so you don't, don't buy it and find there's no battery. You do get one battery with it. I just bought them as extras. Nicely packed in here with all the so it's getting a nice charger that says leads. And then here's the actual racer itself. So we get this out. So it's quite nice, quite tightly fitted in here. So get it out. There we go. So there we go, look. There's the FP racer, the 250. So if we just put these back for a sec, we can have a proper close up look on the on the 250. So there we go, there's the uh, Walkman 250. So what we've got on here, we've got the TX um, for the video. We've got small antenna IOs here for the um, radio. Um, we've got uh, a board on top of here so you can actually put on a, a GoPro camera or a camera so you can do a separate recording on your uh, racing flights. And on the front, we've got a uh, FPV camera on board. We've got two like type headlamp shots and lights at the side here and obviously lights at the back are standard. And we also got like backlights as well. I don't know whether these like act as like braking lights or they're just gen general lights on to sort of bring this out more so you can see it more. So especially if someone's coming up to you, they can see in front of you, you know, that you're there. It's got a nice uh, cradle underneath, not cradle, sort of cradle underneath that actually fits in the battery. So the battery slides in nicely at the back and it actually will be stopped at the back there so it doesn't go all the way back. And then you strap it down and then you've got a nice connection on the back of this that the, um, battery connects straight into, nice and easy. So straight in there, and it's in completely out of the way of the props. So I found on the um, previous ones that these tends to sort of lie around or you have to put it over or under something to hide it a bit, so it's not actually made of the props, but this is, they've done done it nicely this time around. So uh, everything's soldered to the boards, even down to the ESCs and, and the motors, they all look like plug and play, so the motors come pre-cabled, so you can actually swap them around really nice and quickly. Um, plug straight into the ESCs. Even the ESCs are customable. They actually unslot as well. They just hold down with a uh, couple of screws and they just pull out as well and pull in. So very easy for quick changing, especially on the, when you're racing. Um, and just at the top here, you've got uh, your RC, you've got your RC, your radio controller, you've got your flight controller, and you've got the GPS module as well on this side here. Um, so yeah, nice, really nicely designed and really nicely. There's no cables hanging out apart from one dangling a little bit, which is obviously the, this one here, but we can cable tie that a bit better as well because it just looks like it's there. But it's all plug and play. Even the camera looks like it can easily be taken out and placed very, very quickly straight into the board there. Very nicely tidy. We'll get some photographs of this so we can actually pull up on the website so you get to see uh, in its full, in full glory, basically. Um, so yeah, that looks, looks I like that, I'm well impressed with that. So that's the back. And then we've got the front, the APB camera there. And then you've got the, the all the modules on top and down the side as well. Give you a better clear clear up view of it as well. So well impressed. And it says it comes with a GPS module, which is obviously, I don't know what I installed it. They've installed everything else on here. So this is the little GPS module. So there we go, on there. And that obviously slots in the top, like so. And there's a little tiny little screw goes in the bottom there that keeps that in place. And that will then actually sit, I think that sits somewhere, the way it sits at the front or the back. Looks like, um, yeah, it sits at the back here. So I've just got to feed the cable through through the back here, um, down in, and then find the actual slot on the board for it. Um, it doesn't actually show it's visible. Oh, there you go, GPS that goes in the side there. So I've got to feed it through there to the side here and then that fits on. So that will fit 
on the back nicely like so looks good so that, there it is so remember lots of props read your manual so that's the waterman 250 very quick unboxing uh, video of that and um, what we'll then do is we'll do get we'll get a first flight done um so i'll get hopefully this tomorrow or the next day or sometime this week when the weather's a bit more warmer not so much warmer but um um not so windy because it's quite windy today we'll get out and actually do a fly a fly with it and stuff so and i'll get my goggles out as well so i've, got dig, I've, got, I've hidden them somewhere so i'll dig those out charge them up and i can get proper fpv so experience work straight away and i can give you experience on flyness experience on the goggles with the goggles record the video as well so i, I can put some footage up of that as well and I'll sit our mount a, a GoPro on here to see if it can handle the weight of a GoPro. So, but I know there's a lot of new cameras come out now for FPV racing, so they're very small and lightweight. But we'll try a GoPro on it and we'll see if it actually handles the weight, makes any difference on, on the flying as well. So, that, thanks guys for watching. So, if you like this video, remember to like and remember to look at my other videos up here I've got and remember to hit my subscribe, my, my subscriber button here. I have to get a button where it is in there. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed, and see you guys soon. Um, I'll show some more product reviews coming up. Got the first test flight for this one to come next, and see you um, soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.